News. Thank you for being with us, everyone. 18 years after the disappearance of Natalie Holloway, the primary suspect in her disappearance is now in Birmingham. Joran Vandersloot has been extradited to the United States to face federal wire fraud charges, extortion charges. Vandersloot has landed in Alabama after being extradited from Peru this morning. And we are on your side covering this story for you from the beginning. Our live team coverage begins right now with Jin Horton, who is at the Birmingham airport watching that plane come in. Jin, walk us through what happened just a few hours ago. That's right. We're, we're right here on the side of Atlantic Aviation. The, fl the plane came in just behind us. The Department of Justice Gulfstream G5 landing here following a six hour flight from Peru. That's when Yaron Vandersloot took his first steps on American soil here in Alabama off that plane, left in a motorcade to protective custody. That's where he'll stay until he's arraigned on those federal wire fraud and extortion charges. And while those charges are not connected to Natalie Holloway's disappearance for the Holloway Always, this is the first step of accountability. Dave and his family and Beth and all of her supporters and family have gone through um, a nightmare for the last 18 years. And every day they had to confront that and there have been any number of occasions where they thought they would get the truth and it hasn't happened yet, but fingers crossed that it, somehow that comes out of this proceeding. And potentially the first time when that could start to happen is likely tomorrow or first thing next week when um, Joran Vandersloot is arraigned on those federal counts. It's something a lot of people have wondered if they would ever see, Steve. Uh, they have because the Natalie Holloway case, of course, uh, remains in the memory of a lot of folks in, in this area, but nationally as well. It's been... Uh, a source of, uh, or a focus rather, of a number of TV shows, documentaries. Uh, there, I believe there's even a, a Law and Order episode uh, that's based uh, on her disappearance. So uh, people are continuing to watch the next steps of this case uh, to see if the Holloway family can get some measure of justice. Again, as Jim mentioned, uh, Joran Vandersloot not being tried uh, for her murder or disappearance, but being tried uh, for wire fraud and extortion. The scene pretty much clear here uh, on the west, uh, at the uh, Atlantic West ramp. Uh, the last law enforcement vehicles uh, pulled out probably within the last half hour, uh, although we understand the Justice Department uh, plane that brought Joran Vandersloot uh, into Alabama is still on the ground. Uh, but we continue to watch uh, for the next steps in this case uh, as we've got reporters uh, across the uh, viewing area uh, in, in uh, strategic spots uh, dealing with this story. And Morgan and Sarah, back to you.